Hey, what's up ladies and gents, Spoony Pizzas here with another eFootball 2023 video. Today I want to talk to you about the best players for every position, for every budget, for the possession-based game plan. So if you're just starting out, I'd recommend Stambouli at 7,500. He's got 42 levels of progression. He's got a decent possession game there with 65. And he's got really good defensive engagement, defensive awareness, and lofted passing. So very, very nice player. And look at those player skills for 7,500 you're getting an interception blocker sliding tackle acrobatic clearance man marking low lofted passing weighted passing through passing captaincy and fighting spirit probably one of the best bargains you can get around the uh the 7,500 pound mark and for just 22,000 moving on up you can go for a Tourette former Arsenal defensive midfielder got very very good defensive engagement Aggression, tackling, acceleration is not too bad as well. And he's got good tight possession, low passing, ball control, dribbling. So very, very solid. Load off the passing, man marking, interception, slide tackle, fighting spirit, one touch passing, weighted passing. Honestly, absolutely ideal for a defensive midfielder. Another player I really like was Nico Gonzalez. I actually had experience with him when he was at Barcelona. And I signed him. He's just 18,000 and he's got good defensive engagement, but... More importantly, it's all around those tight possession, dribbling, ball control, low passing, lofted passing. So more of a, a ball playing defensive midfielder, in my opinion. He's box to box as well. He's got one touch passing, through passing, interception, which is all really nice to have. And he's 180 centimeters in height. And I find him very, very good on the ball. Now, as you move up the list, obviously there's some great players here for defensive midfielders. Locatelli, Tonali, I could both recommend for 100k. You know, look at Tonali. He's more of a ball playing defensive midfielder he has got some decent defensive stats but if you look at his player skills they're more offensive sort of one touch passing weighted passing point point crossing load offensive passing he's got interception but he hasn't got the blocker trait now a lot of people go on about barrios and he is worthwhile for 51,000 gp however my issue with him is that whilst he has great defensive qualities that defensive engagement 80 and he has got one touch passing, interception, blocker, slide tackle, acrobatic clearance, captaincy, man marking. Literally got all the right player skills. But for me, you're going to have to boost his tight possession and ball control and dribbling. Because otherwise, he's great at winning the ball back. But he's going to lose it quite a lot as well. So you are going to have to boost his stats. But if you boost him in the right areas, this is a formidable player that I can definitely recommend. Now, once you get to this sort of tier of players, I honestly can highly recommend Jorginho. Why? 79 for the possession-based playstyle. Look at his tight possession, low passing, lofted passing, ball control. And that looks really good. And when you compare it to Busquets, his balance is much higher than Busquets. He's got 70 for balance, which is really good for ball retention. And then... For his player skills, one touch passing, through passing, weighted passing, pinpoint crossing, low lofted passing, interception. Those are the key ones. And he's got them all. So an absolute bargain at 120k in my opinion. Moving up, you probably want an Angolo Kante or a Casemiro in your side to be honest. And if I was going for anyone, it'd probably be Angolo Kante. This guy gets all over the field. He's got 69 for possession games, so you don't have to boost it all that much to make him worthwhile in your plate possession based play style one touch passing through passing way to passing man marking interception all good stuff to have as well as acrobatic clearance but this guy is like a machine running around the pitch and just so annoying when you come to face him so definitely a highly recommended player for your defensive midfield position and like i said casemiro is another one he's been really good for me as well but he's got interception and blocker aerial superiority way to passing so very, very nice player to have as well as a defensive midfielder. What I would say is have one ball playing defensive midfielder and then one absolute machine like Kante or Casemiro alongside him to basically just win the ball back. Does it get better than that? Yes, it does. Kimmich is probably the top tier defensive midfielder for the possession based play style. He is very much very similar in the build to Jorginho. Again, he's got all the right player skills. One touch passing, through passing, weighted passing, pinpoint crossing, interception, acrobatic clearance, captaincy, fighting spirit, slide tackling, all great to have. But he, like I said, he's going to set you back 450,000 GP. Starting off at 10,000 GP is hard to like ignore Norwood. He is a very, very good player. He's got 42 levels worth of levels to train 
and he's got 74 for low passing 75 for lofted passing and he's got 71 for the possession game so you can develop him nicely but just look at his player skills first time shot one touch passing through passing weighted passing pinpoint crossing interception and captaincy an easy recommendation for that defensive midfield or central midfielder area of the pitch moving on up to just 32,000 GP is Andreas Iniesta 76 rated overall but look at that ball control tight possession low passing all good stuff to have you know he's not the quickest but he's got 77 for the possession game one touch passing through passing weighted pass being pinpoint crossing all great stuff to have and he's got double touch as well like I say he's not the quickest but if you are going to have him just make sure you've got someone like a Kante or you know someone very very good alongside him Barrios in terms of a defensive style midfielder next is Gavi for 64,000 this is one of the must-haves when you're developing your team and building it from the scratch so 70 for speed 74 acceleration great defensive engagement good type possession dribbling ball control low passing he's got it all and 70 for his possession game he's got 45 levels as well worth of progression so you can really level this guy up very nicely. One touch passing, through passing, and he's pretty much the talk of the alongside Pedri at Barcelona. So definitely a high recommendation for this player. He's got double touch, Marseille turn. Those are nice skills to have as well in that midfield area. And he can play the attack midfield role as well. Next up is Pedri from Barcelona. 150,000 GP. He's got 75 possession game. 76 for speed acceleration sorry 70 for speed 82 for balance 82 for stamina 72 for defensive engagement ball control dribbling tight possession low passing all great stuff to have 36 levels as well of in terms of developing him one touch passing through passing pinpoint crossing outside curlers are nice to have double touch and marseille turn he's very very good on the ball and he's got a form rating of a right now and he's got unwavering form so definitely another player highly recommended to have in your squad next up is probably one of my favorite midfielders in the game he just feels great to play with and use on the ball 200 thousand gp will get you variety look at those stats look at that left hand column ball control dribbling tight possession low pass lofted passing good defensive qualities as well 73 for defense engagement he's got good balance as well 80 for the possession game easy easy recommendation one touch passing through passing weighted passing low lofted passing gamesmanship sliding tackle all these things are great to have he does lack interception and blocker so what I would say is make sure you've got a solid defensive midfielder alongside him. But honestly, he feels so good on the ball. It's an easy recommendation. There's so many good players around this area. I could recommend Thiago alongside Verratti at 200k. Very, very similar. But one player that probably doesn't get talked about enough is Borella. He's got 35 levels worth of development. And what I would say is just balance this guy stat across the board because he's good at everything. He's good offensively, defensively, and literally very very strong he has no real weak errors in his game look at his player skills one touch passing track back interception slide tackle acrobatic clearance all great to have as well as long range shooting so like i said boost those stats evenly across the board and you're going to have a very very solid box to box central midfielder for ten thousand, i can definitely recommend one matter 41 levels of training and he's got possession game 72 great ball control tight possession low passing lofted passing and look at his player skills first time shot one touch passing through passing weighted passing pinpoint crossing low lofted passing so he's got pretty much everything you need for an attacking midfielder to play into your strikers. For just 13,000, you can then pick up Harrit, who has 43 levels of training available, 77 acceleration, 66 speed, nice speed disparity there, 79 for dribbling, I love that as well as his ball control, tight possession, low passing. But then take a look at these player skills. Double touch, scissor feint, those are two of my favourites. One touch passing, through passing, outside curler. Great for linking in the front players and playing through balls to your strikers. A player I do really like the look of is Isco for 34,000. I think he's going to do really well for you. That high ball control, dribbling and tight possession is going to make him feel great on the ball. Nice speed, acceleration, disparity, 75 for his possession game. The only thing he does lack over what Harrit had is the one-touch passing, but he has got through passing, weighted passing, which are great to have again. And, you know, as long as you take a first touch, he's going to do some serious damage. He's got great balance as well. And he can play 
in a variety of areas. Just look at that mini map in the top right corner. Now for 58,000, you can pick up Masiala and just look at these stats, 77 ball control, 79 dribbling, 77 tight possession, 79 acceleration, 69 speed, good speed acceleration, again, disparity, 65 for his possession game. And just take a look at these player skills. One touch passing is obviously the key one. He hasn't got through passing, which is a little bit disappointing. He has got first time shot. So try to boost his finishing over his sort of low passing and make him more of a dribbler so you can really maximize him. He's got 45 levels. You can do plenty with him and basically build him how you want. So I would make him more of a, a goal scoring attacking midfielder rather than someone who's going to play that through ball to your strikers. But for me personally, 51,000 will get you Christian Eriksen. And look at these stats. 80 for ball control, 80 for low passing, lofted passing 82, curling 83. He isn't the quickest, but it doesn't matter because his ball playing is superb. And he's got all the right player skills to create and find that killer pass. One touch passing, through passing, weighted passing, pinpoint crossing. Great stuff to have. Another fantastic attacking midfielder is Verts. And he comes in at 96,000 GP. Great dribbling ability, tight possession, ball control, low passing, lot. His speed and acceleration is good as well. His possession game is 68. And with through passing, pinpoint crossing, one touch passing, along with the double touch and sombrero, really nice to have. And he's just 18 years old. So you're going to get that benefit from that manager Arteta's points that I told you about earlier. So like I said, a really worthwhile signing. And you can really develop him very nicely. But then at 82,000 GP, that will get you David Silva. 84 type possession, 84 ball control, 82 low passing good speed and acceleration disparity possession game is 80 79 for balance and if you look at his player skills one touch passing through passing weighted passing pinpoint crossing low lofted passing all great to have as a real good playmaker if you want more of a long ranger who wants to score goals from range either phil coutinho or james madison will do the job both of those players are absolutely really good at doing what they do with that high kicking power stat. At 110k, Odegaard is an easy recommendation. He's got very, very good player ID, does some very nice tricks and passes with the ball. 81 dribbling, tight possession, ball control, all really good stuff there. And good passing as well. 76 for his possession game. Look at his player skills, through passing, pinpoint crossing. He does lack first time, well, one touch passing, which is a little bit disappointing in my opinion because Personally, I think he, he should have that trait, in my opinion. But nonetheless, he's a very, very solid attacking midfielder. Once you get around the 150k mark, and Kunku is a great player for traveling with the ball. Feels really good on the ball as well. One touch passing, through passing, double touch, sombrero, cut behind and turn. All really useful to have. So very, very good at traveling with the ball. And then finally, obviously, Kevin De Bruyne is one of the best, but... Bernardo Silva is one of the best players that you can f have on the ball. The way he feels when you get the ball into him, he feels like one of the best, in my opinion. High ball control, high dribbling, high type possession stats make him very, very worthwhile. He's got through passing. Again, he lacks that one touch passing, which is a little bit disappointing. But look at all those other player skills that he's got that can really come in handy. One that if will mention would be Phil Foden at now 260k. He's moved to a support striker role and these are his stats. So good ball control, dribbling, tight possession. But like I said, I recommend him for the attack midfield position. He can play SS as well, but with more, we'll cover more of the SS positions a bit later. But acceleration speed's really good as well. And again, another player that feels really good on the ball. One touch passing, through passing, weighted passing, and load off to passing. And the double touch make him one of the best you can sign. And that pretty much covers this episode, ladies and gents. Join me for part three where we look at the wide players and the support strikers and centre forwards. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.